let me start with a very simple question. So why do we all go to hospitals? Uh, the obvious answer would be to get cured or to get treated, right? But what if I tell you that almost 10 to 18 percent of all the people who go to a hospital get an additional infection, which is other than their primary ailment, while they are being treated. So these infections are called hospital acquired infections. Ventilator associated pneumonia is one such infection of the lungs which is fatal and it happens in patients who are in the ventilator for more than 48 hours or more than 2 days. So I am Nachiket Devat, I am co-founder of Koyo Labs and this is basically me. So I am a confused mix of an engineer, a designer and now an entrepreneur. And uh, two years back, I was even more confused. Of course, I didn't have any knowledge about what these infections are. But uh, I was in my final year at National Institute of Design, completing my master's in industrial design. So I was searching for internship opportunities where I could complete my thesis project. I was always interested in medical device innovations and medical device domain as such for the very reason that the challenges it provided me with the usability aspects, the technology and also the sheer amount of pleasure that you get once the product ends in the market and it is saving lives and changing lives of millions of people. So that was something which always gave me a kick. So fortunately, I came across Inaxel. So Inaxel is a medtech incubator based out of Bangalore and I applied for an internship and I was selected as part of a, a cross-disciplinary team consisting of an engineer, a business graduate, three doctors and I was the product designer, the industrial designer. So we started the project with going to a tertiary care hospital in the emergency and critical care department and started sh shadowing doctors, nurses, patients and finding out the disease they have, the cures they are getting, the treatment they are getting, procedures being done. The whole objective was to find out the emotions, the pain the, the patients were having, the suffering and also some amount of hope, anxiety, all these emotions. But also finding out finally the pain points or areas which are not solved, the problems in the healthcare delivery in the hospital and to prioritize these problems based on uh, severity, criticality and the impact the final potential solution is going to cause. So during one such observation, we came across Ramesh. Ramesh was a 28 year old banking professional and he had met with a road accident. He had a moderate head injury and he was on the ventilator in the ICU for observation for a day. So the next day that we go, we found that uh, Ramesh is still in the ICU and the doctors are saying that yes, his condition is uh, getting better and he's recovering and that they would remove him off the ventilator by the day's end. So the third day, when we go, we find that Ramesh is still in the ICU, but this time his condition is really critical. And on the fifth day, Ramesh died. Now this incident really shocked us and we started investigating better, more. And on further investigation, we found out that Ramesh had got uh, an additional infection while he was on the ventilator, which was called ventilator associated pneumonia. And we just could not understand this problem. I mean, a device which is supposed to save lives, ventilators which saves lives, uh, is, is causing uh, an additional, additional infection. And we just, just could not understand this. And we thought this was completely avoidable. And we had to have a solution to this. So further deep dive, we found out that this is not just a one-off event and it is very common across India and also globally. This is when we started 
saying that we have to solve this problem. And that is when we started forming the company Koyo Labs around this project of solving ventilator associated pneumonia. So, ventilator associated pneumonia actually as it is called commonly VAP or VAP. The incidence of this is 10 to 20 percent which means that of all the patients who are on the ventilator, 10 to 20 percent of these get ventilator associated pneumonia. And this infection causes an extra excess ICU stay of 5 to 7 days. Now obviously with the high cost of being on in the ICU, the excess expenditure that the patient incurs is almost of the tune 1 to 1.5 lakhs per patient. Again, the problem is that the mortality rates with this infection are as, are as high as 40 to 60 percent. Which means that even after those 5 to 7 excess days and the 1 to 1.5 lakhs that you've spent on the treatment, 50 percent of those patients still die. So we had to solve this problem. So we started doing a lot more research. We spoke to doctors, spent some more time in the ICU and we started finding answers as to why this is happening. So tell, to tell you in brief, what happens is uh, a healthy human being like you and me generate almost a liter of secretions in a day which are the salivary secretions and the mucosal secretions. Now all these secretions go in the stomach, we swallow them. But in case of ventilated patients, there is an excess tube which you can see that is called the endotracheal tube. Now this tube is it, that goes in the windpipe and is connected to the ventilator to give respiratory support. This tube acts as a passage for all these secretions to go in the lungs. As the secretions go in the lungs, they are contaminated because of airborne germs which are already present in the ICU. Once these contaminated secretions go inside the lungs, they cause infection of the lungs, which exactly is ventilator associated. The other problem is that these patients have very little immunity. They are already in a very critical stage, they are in the ICU. So a very small infection can really be fatal. Also, these patients are sedated, so they can't cough. So any external object which goes in the lungs, they can't just stuff it out. So after all this research and finding out with doctors, meeting doctors, we found out that effective secretion management was one of the key features by which we could solve this problem of ventilator associated pneumonia. So after a year of iterating, reiterating, building concepts, building prototypes, we came up with a final prototype which actually works. And this is an intelligent secretion management system which senses secretions. So it can sense secretions in the oral cavity and in the trachea. And based on the sensing, it will remove these secretions. Now the hypothesis is that if the secretions can no more go inside lungs, it cannot cause ventilator associated. So we already have a functional prototype ready for this product. And uh, we have validated this product with more than 38 doctors across India and globally. We plan to launch this product, oh, this is how it looks. So we plan to launch this product by 2017. And by 2020, uh, with the use of this device, we would completely eliminate uh, ventilator associated pneumonia and make ventilators a really life saving device. Thank you very much.